Welcome back my duelist friends, Casual Duelist here, feeling a little bit better. And what we've got for you guys today is, well, it's a deck with like two proxies in it. One is just missing, one I'm playing around. Um, but what we've got for you guys today is Malefics. Now I've loved these cards ever since I saw the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! second movie, uh, where we use the Malefics and you got to see all of that. Um... I thought that was all brilliant. I liked the, the whole, like, all the heroes coming together to fight the synchro bad boy. And, uh, you know, again, I'm a big fan of villains. So every time I see, like, a villain, uh, it always makes the, the, the heroes look better. And these cards, they were like a fresh retrain if a villain took everybody's, like, main character cards and put them in a deck. So... Without any further ado, let's get you guys the list and start explaining stuff. So, all of the Malefics are going to share one effect, and that is that there can only be one face-up Malefic monster on the field, and other monsters you control cannot declare attacks. Also, if there's no face-up field spell on the field, they will be destroyed. Now, that said, they cannot also be normal summoned or set. They can only be special summoned by removing from play uh, one copy of their regular variant from the main deck um which is different and again for the ones that come from the extra deck then you remove from the extra deck outside of that we're just going to be using the blue eyes malefic white dragon um and honestly this is normally a one of the way that i play um because when play testing i was i was in full proxy mode um i had an order i thought my order was going to get here before the video it did not so again this plays around it because of cards that we're using. Um, it is supposed to be a third copy of our next card, uh, being the Malefic Cyber End. And again, if you guys have the option to just blast with a 4K for nothing, um, do that. Um, and again, same, you play, you, you remove the uh, Cyber End from the extra deck and all of the same effects. So no real effect here. Uh, does not gain the piercing of the regular Cyber End Dragon. That is important to note um, but again normally this split would be a one three up next we're going to have three copies of the malefic paradigm dragon and this one is actually fantastic looks great too uh, cannot be normal summoner set must be special summoned from the hand by banishing a malefic from the extra deck while the malefic paradigm dragon is not on the field so again it's their way of saying that you can only control one of these at a time um, if Malefic World is not on the field, destroy this card. So this is the only one that specifically requires the Malefic World field spell. Um, destroy this card once per turn. You can send one Malefic card from the deck to the discard to return one of your banished level 8 synchro monsters to the extra deck. Then special summon that monster from the extra deck. You may only attack with Malefic monsters for the rest of this turn. So again, he wants to set up... He wants to send an extra Malefic out of your deck to go ahead and bring back. It would be the Paradox Dragon. Um, so Paradox and Paradigm working together. And uh, that is how that's going to work. Um, next up, we are going to have three copies of the newer gear. Three copies Malefic Paradox gear. Now this is, this is a good one. And this is the reason why we get to get away with having uh, the Malefic Blue Eyes in here. Uh, if a face-up field spell is on the field, seems a bit redundant, um, you can tribute this card to special summon one parallel gear from your deck, then add one malefic monster from deck to hand, except paradox gear. And again, this will help you set up for the paradox dragon uh, synchronize. Um, if a malefic monster you would ban, if a malefic monster would banish a monster to special summon itself by its own way. You may banish this card you control or in the graveyard instead. Each effect once per turn. And this is how I get my Malefic Blue Eyes on the field when I actually need to play it. Uh, but again, generally when you're playing the gears, uh, the second gear, which is the next card, very simple effect. It is the only tuner in our build. Um, when using this as Synchro Material, the other monster needs to be a Malefic and needs to be in the hand. So again, just real quick... Um, We've got 12 stars, right? No, 10 stars. Two, four, five, 
an extra five. So that's 10. So that's going to be like the blue eyes or the Stardust. Again, Stardust is going to be in here. Uh, plus the parallel gear. So again, not playing the three Cyber Ends didn't hurt me. I was able to play around and go into the Malefic Blue Eyes instead uh, for this. Again, we're going to drop another big boss. We're going to drop the Rainbow Dragon again. Uh, another 4K beat stick. And since we are running the Paradox Gears, we can banish them instead from the discard pile. So we can already set up our other play. Um, go ahead, we could grab this because maybe we already have the Blue Eyes in hand, whatever. Um, something else I was toying around with was for the uh, Rainbow and Blue Eyes. If I centered in on those was whether or not I should add in the, uh, and I'm going to forget the name of the spell card right now, but it's the discard card, add two monsters that are basically blue eyes, where the uh, the attack is 3k or more, uh, and the defense is 25 or less. I think it's Melody of Awakening Dragon, I'm not 100% right now. Um, but I did think about running those in order to get these guys out a little faster. Uh, next up is the other Malefic that actually does have an effect. This will be the Stardust Dragon. Uh, and this is one that's actually seen a lot of play over the years. Uh, I believe it was in 2010. Uh, this was actually a linchpin for a Gravekeeper's build. Uh, a lot of control, a lot of uh, really good play. Um, and again, you banish the Stardust from the extra deck. Uh, ba 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 This one has the effect saying that field spells cannot be destroyed by effects. Uh, other monsters you control cannot declare attacks, and there can only be one at a time. So again, that's pretty standard. And then I did want two monsters in here for some semi-control. Because again, we can kind of beat over this card pretty easily. I'm putting in two Lava Golems, guys. Again, it's it's Spooktober. A lot of this is all dark. Uh, the Lava Golem doesn't exactly fit the dark. Um, if you want, you guys can play Radeon or uh, Gamma CL and just go with, uh, you know, some like decent Kaijus. Depending on whether or not you wanted to get, keep with the theming, or if you wanted to do what you're doing. Uh, do note, though, that this is an 8-star. That's important. Um, another thing that you could do, like you guys could totally, if you have them, play Danger Bigfoots in here. Um, because it's going to go along with some of the stuff that you're going to see in the spells. Uh, but outside of that, this is the monster lineup. So go ahead, screenshot or pause plus notes equals you get that while I clear the board and bring you the rest of the deck. So just one moment. All right, moving over to the spells. First and foremost, we like to draw. So, of course, Allure of Darkness. You guys know this one. Draw two. Banish the dark from your hand after if you cannot uh, discard your entire hand. Again, most everything is dark, and this is why I say Bigfoot's a good play. Uh, Bigfoot also adds to some draw power. Um, this is why I said Radeon is an okay choice. Uh, over Gamma CL just for the weakest of the Kaiju, which again still gets stomped by the weakest of the Malefics. So again, you guys play the way that you want. There's still plenty of dark targets for this regardless. I'm running one copy of the Malefic Divide, and it's only one. And it's because Malefics are kind of weird and hard to play. And again, sometimes you don't always end up with all of your cards. So, again, if you don't have the territory, we'll go over, go over that here in a second. Um, you can't control more than one at a time, so it gets a little weird. So, divide at one. What it does, target a Malefic in the graveyard, special summon it, ignoring conditions. Effects are negated, banish it during the end phase. Um, honestly, not the best thing in the world. Um, but one thing I do like to do with this is I like to bring back my uh, parallel gear just to go ahead into my synchro. Um, if I've already got another card boarded to the field. Um, because again, we are negating the, the whole effect. Um, and if you wanted to put in some uh, rank 10s uh, into your main deck, um, or sorry, uh, level 10 synchros into your extra deck, um, this would be a great way to play other boss cards that I don't own right now. Um, I'll go over that when we get to the extra deck. Uh, next up, we're going to play the full complement of Malefic Selectors. Banish two Malefic cards in the graveyard. Add two Malefic cards from the deck to the hand. Now, the catch is you cannot add Malefic Selector. The cards that you're adding from the deck must be different than the cards that you banished. And they cannot be two of the same card being pulled from the deck. So they have to be different from this, the banished cards, and different from each other. You can only activate one of these per turn, but still... This is a super powerful way 
And again, this is why we spread out. We also added in the rainbow dragon and the blue eyes. Um, but remember, guys, you can add the gears too. The gears are cards. Again, this could be spells. This could be traps. This could be monsters. It's really not that hard to make this work. Um, it's just daunting when you look at it the first time. Uh, next up, the territory. And I did get a little hyped for this already. Um, let's see if I can straighten that out a little bit. When this is activated, you may activate Malefic World from the deck. So again, we're not going to be running terraforming because of this. Uh, while that card is in the field zone, neither player can target a card or cards in the field zone with card effects. So it basically takes over from Malefic Stardust. Um, do, 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 there can only be one Malefic monster on the field. Becomes there can only be one face-up Malefic uh, with the same name. So they become legendary, but not to the point where I can only have, you know, Stardust. Instead, I can play three of them in one turn because they're all special summons, and I can play a boatload of big monsters. So again, this really expands why you'd want to play. And again, once you have Bigfoots uh, to add to this deck, this deck gets even better, guys. Um, there can only be one, uh, no, just said that. Uh, during the battle phase, negate the effects of face-up malefic monsters on the field. So again, this is part of why we get the first effect, is to maintain Stardust Dragon's protection. Uh, but at the same time, now they can all attack. So again, perfect. Uh, let's talk about the field spell, Malefic World itself. Uh, while this is face-up on the field, you can activate this effect instead of conducting a normal draw during the draw phase. That effect is to choose three Malefic cards from my deck. Have my opponent pick one at random. That gets added to my hand. The rest get shuffled back in. Now, it says three Malefic cards. Let's say I got to pick three random. So if I really, really, really want Malefic territory, I'm just going to hand you three copies of this face down, and you're going to select it no matter what. So when you are playing with the Malefic world, try to keep that in mind, the cards that you do want. If there are three still in your deck, you can literally just cheat the draw, and take the random chance out of it. However, if there's three equally good cards that you could add to your hand, just go ahead, let chance do its thing. Next up, uh, this deck is kind of weaker, so we are going to need the Gakis. Uh, I do want to try to give you guys more of like the beatdown-esque variant here, um, because again, this is the casual channel, and I don't, I don't really know of any way to truly make these guys pop yet to where they are super competitive without making the deck way too expensive. Um, some additional draw power, trade-ins. And again, just real quick, uh, Bigfoot is eight. So again, if you guys went that route, that would be fine, uh, which means Bigfoot is dark and eight, so allure plus trade-ins. Uh, this is why I wasn't mad about the blue eyes. Blue eyes is eight plus dark, so allure and trade-ins. Uh, Malefic Stardust Dragon, same story, different tune. And the Lava Golems I added, are also eight stars. So you can get the double pick from the opponent's side. You know, you never know what they're gonna have. They could have Boral Sword or Boralode or Savage Boralode, um, plus Appalosa, uh, plus uh, Hieratic Seals. Um, and again, you might need to be offing more than one card at a time. So right now, I just think Lava Golem is like a better out to a lot of these things. And so anytime I get to play it for now, I'm going to. Next up, I'm going to use a trap card. We're going to use Malefic Tune. Uh, single copy. If a face-up Malefic Monster monsters you control is destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect, I get to draw two cards. If a face-up Malefic Monster I control is destroyed while this is in the graveyard, uh, except during damage, then I can banish this to add one Malefic Monster from the deck to the hand, each effect once per turn. Again, it's not game-breaking, but it is a nice utility. Um, I would have played it at two, Except I really, really wanted to have a skill drain in there. Let's see if we can focus the screen again. You guys know this one. Pay a thousand life points. Then as long as this card remains on the field, monster effects on the field are negated. So again, guys, quick snapshot or uh, pause and notes. And I'll be right back with what I've got for the extra deck. Just one moment. All right, now back with the extra deck. Of course, we have to be playing two copies of the Malefic Paradox Dragon. Uh, this is Parallel Gear plus one non-tuner Malefic. Again, it's going to need to be an eight-star, which is why we packed the deck with, uh, what was it again? We did one, two, uh, like five of them uh, between the uh, the Blue Eyes and the Stardust. 
When is his synchro summon? You can select one synchro monster in either graveyard, special summon it. Um, there can only be one face up of this at a time. And if Malefic World is not face up on the field, destroy this card. So again, this one does require the the uh, complete Malefic field spell as opposed to being like the old Circle of Sin. And guys, if you guys want to see that, we'll probably go ahead and make that one for you too. Um, the major difference is, is uh, we will not be able to use Paradox Dragon. Um, we will have to use the Seal of Void Calcos instead. Uh, next up, uh, we're going to have our Cyber End Dragon. And again, I'm using both arts because I didn't have two of the dark. If I would have had two of the dark, it would have been more uh, apt for this build. And would have just went with that. But uh, use two of those. Use two Stardust Dragons again. This is basically just banish material. Um, other good cards you guys could use. Um, if you guys have the uh, the Baron de Fleur, I think his name is. Uh, he's an excellent 10 star for this deck. Um, the Math Max Sigma would be very good. Again, I just don't own these guys, but they would make excellent synchros to add to this. Our mystery turned around card today is actually on my phone. Um, this would be number 97 Dragalubian. And uh, this guy would have been perfect. Uh, it is 2 8, so you cannot target this card with card effects. Um, Detach one material from this, take two dragon number monsters with different names from the extra deck and or grave, except Draglubian. Special summon one, attach the other as material. For the remainder of this turn, you cannot special summon other monsters, declare attacks, except with that special summoned monster. You can only use this effect once per turn. Now, the reason that I would have played Draglubian here is because I love the following two. We love number 38, Hoop Harbinger, and we additionally love number 100, Numeron Dragon. So the Numeron Dragon, once per turn, detach material from this. This card gains attack equal to the combined ranks of all Xyz currently on the field, which again would be 8 over here, which would put this boy at 8, 9,000, uh, because he's going to count his own rank plus the number 97. Um, when this card is destroyed by card effect, destroy as many monsters on the field as possible. Then each player sets spell traps from their graveyard to the field. Um, bah, 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 bah. and then uh, when an opponent's monster declares an attack while this is in your graveyard and you have no cards in hand or field you can special summon this so again he could sort of defend us because we could just keep bringing him back in defense uh, he's great for a good game push and the reason for Hope Harbinger again for the people who've played this once per turn when a spell or effect is activated on the field quick effect negate that if you do attach that card to this as material when an opponent's monster declares an attack, detach material, change the attack target to this card and perform damage calculation. If a face-up Xyz monster that you control is destroyed by battle card effect, target a face-up Xyz monster you control. Uh, it gains attack equal to one of the destroyed monster's original attack. So again, two very different situations and two very fun ways to go with this. So that's that's really nice. And in the links, I'm not going to spend too much time with this, guys. Uh, you guys know these guys. These are bread and butter cards for me. Uh, Boral Sword, IP Mascarena, Cerberus, Phoenix, Unicorn, and the off chance you might get to play the Underworld Goddess of the Closed World. So that is the first of our two decks this week. I'd like you guys to let me know how I did in the comments down below. Again, uh, Draglubian and a second copy of... Cyber End from the way that I would play. Other mods you could make is instead of like Lava Golems and Gekis, um, you guys could substitute in other cards like, you know, Danger Bigfoot and insert your choices here. Uh, let me know what you guys would have played. And again, do all of the things or do none of the things. Do me the one thing. Have a wonderful day, guys. Hope to see you back again later this week. Again, I think I'm going to take tomorrow off, skip a day, come back with another deck take another day off just to make sure that my health gets back to where it needs to be. But you guys have a lovely one. All right. See you later.